Hey guys, welcome to Functional Print Friday. We don't need to look any further than my desk for this week's print. Um, I've got a mini split in my office here and it does a pretty good job keeping the temperature where I want it, but it wavers around a bit. So I've got one of these temperature and humidity sensors here on my desk uh, just to kind of keep an eye on things. And the actual sensor in here, here I'll pop it out. Uh, these are pretty ubiquitous. I've seen a whole bunch of different brands of these on Amazon. Um, I'll link to the specific four pack uh, that I bought a year or two ago because I am quite happy with them. The battery seems to last just about forever. Um, the problem is they're hard to read and with the the uh, the room light in here it's actually not too bad and the camera does a good job at disguising it but unless you're looking at this display at the right angle it's just washed out. It's really hard to read. So when I had this guy sitting here on my desk like this the angle I sit at I just couldn't read it. Um, and it's got a little kickstand on the back uh, but it's flimsy and that also doesn't hold at an angle that is good to to read So I whipped up this little design right here uh, To hold it. It actually just slides in from the front You can see the stops there at the back and then has the angle uh, that, that I found to be most appropriate for a standard height desk uh, Sitting there, uh, you, you know, you're welcome to rotate that and adjust it a bit as always The STL for this will be available free on my site fpfdesigns.com. That's linked down in the description below uh, I'll also link to the four pack of these that I got. I'll put that down in the uh, description as well. Um, one of the nice things about this is it's also a good way to kind of add some accent to your desk. Um, I was fairly boring here and just went with silver, but this is a good time to grab your your, uh, your color swatches and see what you think you might like on your desk. Um, I might actually do another one of these in. I just picked up this. Not a sponsor, but I'll tell you what, I might reach out to these guys because I love their stuff. Um, Zero 3D. I had the white marble before. I grabbed just recently their, their straw. The lighting in here doesn't do it justice. It's just really kind of a nice natural looking filament. I might actually print another one in that straw color and see how I like it. But um, anyway, real simple design. Uh, quick print. Um, I printed mine, I believe, yeah, on this angle here. So that face down on the bed. And this just slides right in. Tricky to do here with one hand. So, well, you know what, actually, let's open the design for this and see if there's anything I missed from a design perspective. Oh, by the way, I probably shouldn't just assume that everyone has color swatches. Um, if you don't have a set of these uh, for your filaments, uh, I strongly recommend it just for picking colors out for prints like this. Uh, I did a video, these are not my design, but I did a video on these and I linked all the files. Uh, I'll put that up here. I'll put a little card up in the video and I'll also link to that down in the description as well if you want to check out these color swatches. Uh, I use these guys all the time. Um, it really helps to you know, kind of be able to walk up to where your 3D print is going to be or if you're trying to integrate a couple different colors together like you can see, okay, maybe you know, the orange looks really good with the uh, one of the greens or the silver. Uh, I, I use these things all the time and my kids love, love uh, picking stuff out too uh, for their you know, less functional, more decorative prints. All right, and here is the design for that. And you can see not a whole lot of complexity here, mostly just some decorative bevels. Uh, you can see there's really only a thin flat section here on the front. You wouldn't want to try and print that face down. Again, the, the face to print down is this face down here on the bottom. Um, and we've got a nice bevel that sets into where the display is and then a nice bevel here on the outside, uh, just, you know, again, for some kind of visual appeal, softens it up, breaks it up a bit. Uh, be real easy to adjust the angle between this face and this face back here if the angle isn't perfect for viewing on your desk. And take a second and think what color filament you want to use. This is a good opportunity, even though functional, to add a little bit of flair to your desk. So guys, real simple, quick, easy one this week. A uh, number you probably have these temperature and humidity modules laying around. Um, I've got the four that I bought just recently, and I've got some older ones that I must have picked up uh, 10 years ago, and they're still the same physical size. So like I said, they're fairly ubiquitous. If you enjoyed this, you want to see more content like this, hit that like button. And guys, if you want to see more videos from me, hit that subscribe button. And if you do, I will see you next Friday.